Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're checking out the Mojo Tone NC2 acoustic sound hole pickup. So this baby right here. And the cool thing about this one is it's the same as the NC1, but it has a mic. So you can blend it in. There's a little sort of thumb wheel on the back and you can blend in as much of the mic as you want. And that really adds the sort of ear factor um, to the pickup, making it sound just a bit more lively and a bit more sort of natural I suppose. Today I'd like to do some tests with this pickup just to try it in a more real world situation. So I've got my monitor down here, I've got a QSC KW121 uh, that I use a lot so I'm really familiar with the sound of this live and I'd like to use this pickup in a way that I probably would live going through a few different things that I would do in a live situation. Also I'd love to say thanks so much Mojo Tone for sending me this NC2 to try out. The last demo with the NC Passive was really impressive. I did a comparison between a whole bunch of different sound hole pickups. Magnetic pickups being my favorite acoustic pickup for live use and the NC2 was one on my list just because it has that mic function and the actual pickup is active and it has its own preamp, obviously its own preamp built in um, I was really keen to see what it sounded like and how it performed. So anyway, let's get into it. So the first test I want to run through is a little bit of rhythm work with a pick and then I just improvised a few lines over top, just did a quick bit of a solo. So for this next test I turned the mic off completely and I wanted to see how it responded to sort of more a more softer finger style approach. So let's see how that one went. So this one, um, obviously with the mic on, let's turn this back on, mic's on, obviously you get a bit of percussion. Now if, you would, if you're a percussive player, um, normally you would have a whole separate system to deal with all the percussion stuff. I have a solo original project called Whiskey Soho and it's all based around doing percussion, singing and all that at the same time. So I have a whole separate rig that I normally use for that. So that's, if you wanna check that out, I'm gonna leave some links down in the description. If you wanted to add a few taps here and there and just add a little bit of percussion into your playing, it's actually really effective. And the fact that you can actually have it on at quite high sound pressure levels is very cool as well. So I've got the mic on here. You can hear it picks up really well. The next test I wanted to do was a Pete Sariola style percussive rhythmic arrangement um, of a Days of the New song, so you can check it out.
at the moment I've got the pickup just uh, on full magnetic mode and you can sort of hear it's very very acoustic like not like your typical uh, magnetic sound hole pickup this one has been designed specifically with acoustic guitar in mind and they've really you can tell that they've put a lot of effort into making it sound good yeah straight off the bat it is super natural sounding even before you add the mic so that's a great start one thing i'd like to point out which i got wrong on my last video is that there i, I mentioned there's got to be some sort of piezo element in here because it picks up still a lot of the body even a lot of the tapping they actually designed the magnetic pickup to actually pick up body resonance so there's no piezo in there that's actually a special design one of the elements why it sounds so natural but also that it feels really natural when you're playing it it's something that you can't really hear across some um, or you can't sort of convey across a video like this you've got to play one it it's got a really natural feel to it when you're strumming the strings or playing a few notes so what i want to do is i want to just bring this mic in a little bit so that's no mic and the wheel's just under here so I'm going to wind it down a little bit. Just a little touch of mic. And that is on full mic now. So you can hear the it's definitely got a little bit more crispness in the top end and it's a bit more lively. It starts to pick up all a bit more of the, the body sounds and percussive stuff. But the thing that they've done is that they have definitely EQ'd this mic to help stop feedback issues that you can have using a mic in a live situation. So this sort of volume, I'd be running into some problems using the mic this loud. So the fact that they have cut out a lot of those low frequencies just really to add that ear and add a little bit of the extra sounds you get from playing a mic'd up acoustic guitar. So it makes it super usable. So what we're going to do is we're going to start bumping up this, up the volume and just sort of see. So this is pretty loud now. This is probably where I'd have it at again. And there's no, there's no problem at all at the moment. What if I did this? Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> so that was a pretty extreme test there. So that's up pretty high. If I took that mic out, I'd probably better go a lot louder. So now the mic's off. So that would be, at the moment, it would be heaps louder than I'd ever have it through a monitor at, um, a, at a live show and it's, yeah, it's totally fine. Really, really low noise as well. Man, that does sound really good. So for me, the f my first impressions of this pickup um, was when I was installing it yesterday and I got it in there and then I have a test amp in the workshop that I use to that I use all the time and I use it to test for things like noise and try out, um, yeah, test people's equipment, right? So I'm very, very familiar with this amp. I got it installed and I plugged in and yeah, I was initially seriously blown away with how natural it sounds. And that's probably the biggest thing I hear from everyone who has got this or the NC1 is that it's, it's super natural for a magnetic sound hole pickup. Not even for a magnetic sound hole pickup, just for a pickup that goes in an acoustic guitar. The other thing that was really apparent is got really really good strong bass and that is something that I always look for in a magnetic pickup because you can get away with a lot more using a magnetic pickup um, as instead of using a under saddle or a contact pickup and I've used a lot of different pickups. When I discovered magnetic sound hole pickups it was just like 
wow, a lot of my problems are now gone. You get a lot of problems with undersaddle pickups. You get a lot of problems with contact uh, bridge plate pickups. They sound awesome. They do sound really good. You're always fighting with things like volume and re like resonant frequencies, like notes just running away on you, like you'll be playing an A chord and the A note just starts running away and going crazy. When I discovered magnetic sound hole pickups, all of a sudden I could just set my sound up and it was the same sound from gig to gig. I didn't have to s sit up and then start notching out frequencies or trying to play around with the EQ to get it to work right. I just sit up and it sounds good. Plus the other thing is too, I, in my uh, original project, I use a lot of heavy fuzz and distortion, which is almost impossible to use on a like under saddle or a contact body contact pickup so with a magnetic pickup it's it is possible probably the one exception is that this guy here because it does pick up the body it does make it a little harder to use things like overdrive and fuzz on but i mean out of everyone that's going to be wanting to purchase one of these or uh, you know a pickup to amplify their guitar it's probably not on the top of their list as far as tones go for an acoustic so there's not too much to worry about there. If you're looking for a pickup that you just want to put in your guitar and use and then pull out again, these are such a good option because they sound great and you don't have to do anything. The um, It's also designed to be permanently installed. So at the moment, obviously, I've got it coming out the sound hole, but it does, it does come with a Switchcraft jack, like an N-pin jack, so you can install it permanently inside the guitar which is something I do. I always have a guitar that's made for live and then I've got another guitar, which actually is my wife's guitar, which I use to record with normally. Yeah, if you had an expensive guitar and you didn't want to have a pickup permanently installed, this is a really, really cool option. Another cool thing, it's got quite a long battery life. So there's over 250 hours of battery life on this, which is around about 83 gigs. I did a little bit of math, um, amazingly. and. That's, so about probably once a year replace it. I mean, it's just a good thing to get into to replace it once a year at Christmas or something. For me, it would be really cool if the mic and the magnetic outputs could be separated. That's pretty niche though for someone like me who's a bit of a control freak and wants to ha be able to control every aspect of the sound for specific reasons. But the um, the design aspect of that, would it's not just quite as easy as as just teeing off another cable so you could have it separated it's, there's a lot involved in something like that i think the idea behind this is that it's just a great pickup and you just put it in and it works and sounds great without you having to do any work so guys i hope this was really helpful i hope this is making your choices easier it's definitely an option i would check out if you're after a magnetic sound hole pickup the um, nc2 or the nc1 obviously is going to be a really cool choice if you want some of that the body resonant sound um, and to be able to get a bit more of a lively, more realistic feeling acoustic sound, then I'd go for the NC2. So thanks very much guys for watching this. I hope you really enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you haven't and we'll catch you next time.